Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another video here on the channel. We are here at a shopping center right here in the southwest area of the valley on Rainbow and Windmill Lane. Literally, it's pretty busy here, but not just this intersection right here, but across the street, this way around, there's an apartment building right down there. There's housing, another apartment building and housing development this way. So this tower site does do a lot of work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test Verizon Ultra Wideband. It's available right here. So we're gonna start off with the Galaxy S22 Ultra, 13 ping two jitter. And this plan right here is on the Get More 2022 plan. Okay, 436 down. and 64.7 on the upload, which is really good performance. So now we're gonna get the iPhone 13 Pro. All right, 13 ping 2.3 jitter. Okay, 421 down. And this plan is on a low thread plan. And 78.3 on the upload. But while we're here, guys, we're gonna test all the carriers. So next we're gonna go through AT&T. And I think AT&T is on 5GE. So let's just give it a test. 31 ping, 19 jitter. And in the same area, this is what AT&T is doing. Twenty-seven point six down. And this is the performance I've been seeing from AT&T lately. It's been straight up garbage. I don't know, for some odd reason. And point twenty five on the upload. This is on Consumer Elite right here. So now let's get the let's get a Lowe's Blue line here. And let's see if Lowe's Blue does any difference on 5GE. Alright, 26 ping, 13 jitter. And not much of a difference, guys. Four point four five on the down. And one point five six on the upload. Now we're gonna go over to T Mobile. And let's see, let's just double check here real quick our settings. Let's make sure it is on ultra capacity. Yep, it is. Okay, 5G on. Is there no 5G in this area? No, oh, there you go. Okay, this is, let's see your 20, 23 ping, 200 jitter. Hello, are you gonna go? Here, let's just restart that real quick. That's not, I don't know what's going on here. Well, it seems that T-Mobile does not want to speed test even though we have a full signal. Let's airplane mode it once again. Will it even load a server? There we go. Okay, 51 ping, 11 jitter. Fifty point seven down. And 
And similar upload performance to AT&T here. Wow. And 0.57 on the upload with a 0.36% packet loss. Now let's see if the Galaxy is here to save the day for them on the S22 Ultra. Okay, 24 ping 10 jitter. Now let's see the spectrum that we're. So here we can pull up the spectrum, why not? Okay, so N41, 80 megahertz, band 6620, band, 15, band 215. So 46.9 on the down. At least we get a little bit of a better upload on the Android, right? And 8.47 on the upload. All right, guys, we're going to go to another location. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back here at another location. As you can see, we got a hospital right there. That's a level two trauma center. We got shopping center right here where I'm at. We got a high school right there. And then we got another medical center right here. And then we got a bunch of houses right there that this tower site serves. So let's, uh, let's speed test here. Let's see how it's doing. First, we're gonna start off with uh, Verizon, ultra wideband connection. 18 ping, 3.6 jitter. Exceptional performance right here. So this hospital, this uh, the school, everything will get great performance. So 477 down. Oh, and there's also a park too, okay. So 477 down, 48.5 on the upload. That's on the iPhone. Now let's pop out the Verizon Galaxy. 18 pink, six jitter. Three sixty four down. And then 14.6 on the upload. All right, let's grab next, let's do T-Mobile. Ultra capacity, 33 ping, 6.2 jitter. Ultra capacity is not looking that hot. 130 down. And 66.2 on the upload. Let's grab the Galaxy variant of T-Mobile. K10 ping for jitter. Okay, let's see what the difference in the spectrum is. N41, 80 megahertz, and that's it, so it's on uh, standalone. So 99.2 on the down. And 53.7 on the upload. Now let's do AT&T. We'll start off with the iPhone, 5GE. Okay, we're looking at 18 ping, 13 jitter. What the hell is going on with AT&T, man? Wow. Okay, 15.3 on the down. Damn, the helicopter's annoying, man.
and 2.52 on the upload. All right, and let's grab the Galaxy variant. Thirty-one ping, twenty jitter. Okay, so the Galaxy variant is doing a little bit better. Maybe connected to another site or something. Okay, one hundred fourteen down. Oh yeah, it's doing a lot better actually. Wow. So let's see here. Let's check the band configuration real quick on this one. This is interesting. So band thirty ten megahertz. Oh yeah, we got to restart the speed test. Okay, so 21.9 point, 21 on the upload, so let's restart the speed test, and let's just check out the band combos real quick. So we're looking at band 30, 10 megahertz, band 66, 10, band 66, 10, band 14, 10 on AT&T. And that's what gets us our speeds. All right, so let's, let's check one more time Verizon, because I forgot that I did unlock the, the service menu, so let's speed test it. And then let's check out the service menu. And then we'll conclude this video, guys. Let's see here. So we're looking at band 210, N7760, band 6610, band 6610, band 510. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning into this video, guys. And we're going to catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.